Hello, how is everyone doing today? My day, hold up, my day is okay. I have this time, let me just so long and God know when. Like, I do it. Man, in fact, I really haven't did some. Well, it's not like in a good long time, but one of my sisters, she tapped up. She called me out the blue. I haven't talked to her in years. I think she called me last month, and I did sound like what she knew. Like, it took me way back. But anyway, what's up, people? If you're new, welcome to my channel. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment down below, and hit that there or whatever anyway today supposed to be a day that i'm going to talk and this earring is really barding me at this moment um i supposed to be leaving today like i just got home took a shower and everything just got home still not dressed or whatever and i really don't care how long i'm looking at this moment and i might i don't know if i'm gonna get dressed like dressed up I probably won't I just gave my dog and cat a bath and I really put the be well I'm actually letting them dry off before I brush them and comb or whatever but yes I just came home and I don't know if I'm gonna get dressed because I've been doing my makeup lately and I only have one pip and I got two and I've been like that's what I say I'm, I'm starting to break out with my makeup like any type of makeup like I get like I do got some new makeup but I'm just I think makeup's not like a ruby or just like I don't know. But yes, I didn't come on and talk about that. I just came on here because I I just felt like I wanted to share something to say something and get off my chest or whatever. And practically like lately I've been hearing people like, Oh, she's she's retarded, uh, she's mental, uh, she don't need to have an apartment, she need to get, move back in with her mom, she get, and I feel like at the end of the day if I'm retarded and a retarded person can't cook a clean or a retarded person that don't got it all retarded there's like I feel like at the end of the day, like, people say stuff about me. It's like, I really don't care. Sometimes it does break me down. But I just get over just like, oh, she don't need a man. And some say, oh, she need a man to guide her or whatever. Oh, she don't need to be with him. And then, like, sometimes, like, if I do bring a dude over here or whatever, like, they be trying to talk to him. Or they will try to tell him stuff to block me or whatever. And I'm like, God damn, you find your own man. But at the end of the day, like, people like to see me down. And, you know, I've been noticing that a, la a lot lately because, like, when good stuff happens, if I tell someone, they'll say, oh, da 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 But then, like, when I hear some good about them, I'll be all hyped up. I'll be, like, I ain't gonna lie. I do be hyped up. Like, I'll be hyping their ass. So they look like, that's what they say. So like, I know, but I, like, I'll be hyped up up and hyping them up because I look at like damn y'all came a long ways and this go with anyone if I've been on you for no time and you've been through so much shit and then I had some good news I'm gonna be hyped the fuck up for you because you just came out and then sometimes like I just hear people be like oh her apartment look like a strip store or look thrifty oh it's not all that just like the other day I heard that but it is what it is in my book my stream is ripping it's like you know there's like too many people over here try to get like get me evicted and everything it's like god damn like i live by myself like i stay humble like i play gospel and everything else and yes i do cook and clean like i feel like i clean up too much and i know today i'm gonna clean up because i did a little today and um i just been through so much and like i ain't gonna say y'all let me tell you something yesterday i know i'm jumping to one subject to another one yesterday I was um, carrying them bags up the stairs. I slid and fell, even though I said that in my other video. But my whole, uh, this leg, say this, but this leg hit the middle of my back. And it's like I did the split, and the other leg went like that. And I just landed like, pop, like how they do. Yeah, I've been wrapping my leg up. It hurt so freaking bad. And I just fell down those stairs like two months ago, or three months. And I was still healing because every now and then when I wake up my legs get sore they get stuck and I said damn I'm like my leg and ankle now not gonna get uh heal I could just see it now 
And then, like, when I finally got up and then later on, I left back out my house. I heard my damn other leg. I'm like, oh, Lord. Yeah, other people was laughing at me. <laughs> but the they helped me up, though. I was laughing, too, but I was not trying to feel ashamed and tell me that embarrassed or whatever. But everybody was laughing. And my uh, sister, she was like, she like, girl, come on. She like, I'll help you up. Since everyone is standing there laughing or whatever. But it's, it's what it is. I'm not tripping, you know. Stuff happened for a reason. But back to what I was saying about how people be calling me retarded and disabled. But it's kind of funny how people call me retarded and disabled when I can't do shit. Because at the end of your child, if you pregnant and have kids, your kids can turn like that. And matter of fact, you can turn like that too. Pre honest, like anything can happen. Like you could be paralyzed later, later down in life. Or laid down a year. You could be paralyzed. Or you could be missing a leg way later down in life. Like, people say so much shit about me. But I know everybody else go through the same thing when people say shit about them. Or they go through the same thing when people bully them. They go through the same thing when people say stuff to bring them down. But, you know, it's, it's what it is. I just let them people talk at the end of the day. Because you don't know what God got planned for them. To be honest, they could say so much hate, so much words, and like at the end, it it is like make you feel some type of way. But you know, by the grace of God, you know you gotta move on with your life and get over it. Me sometimes, like today, I just thought about like I slept it off a little bit, but then it came back or whatever. But you know what? I just look at it like this: whatever make them happy, saying shit about me, hey, they happy about saying it. It's what it is. I'm not going to say, but at the end of the day, I look at them how they say shit about me because I sit back and look at their life. Like, practically, you're kind of the same way, but you're in a different stage. But it's cool for someone to call me retarded. It's cool for someone to say, oh, she's special ed. Let me tell you, all my classes have been regular classes. Let me tell you, I have regular classes. And then, two, when it was time to take them tests in high school, oh, baby, I was headed to school. I ain't gonna lie. They, they said, either they said I could stay home or if I come to school, I'm just gonna be sitting in the class. I ain't doing shit. Them two days, I stayed in the class. The other two days, I stayed my ass at home until I let them call me to come back to the school. <coughs> Excuse me. My bad. In high school, I didn't have summer school in high school. In middle school, I had summer school. The crazy part of middle school for me, it only took two girls, me and this other girl, out of middle school. And I was in, and back then, hold up before I get to that, back then, my middle school only had seven and eight grade. We never had sixth grade in middle school, especially in California. We never. Until now, they got sixth grade in middle school now. But during my time, no. So, back to what I'm saying, 7th and 8th grade. When I got in the 7th grade of middle school for summer school, I was not in no middle school. I was in high school. Literally in high school. I was the youngest girl. I mean, everybody in high school was older than me. Older than me. I was like the baby girl. And it was like crazy when I told them, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go to this high school. And I didn't go. Reason why I didn't go, I could have went. I don't got time to run the goddamn mountain on hills or whatever and run across the snake. After they told me you gotta run the mountain hills, they got, don't get me wrong, I love that school because they got a nice ass pool, indoor pool, the school I went to was outdoor. When I was gonna go to that school, I think I was gonna go when I was got another grade. But for middle school, yeah, seven, eighth grade, I was in high school. After seventh grade was over me, when I got to eighth grade, I was still in high school. Like, I was, like, literally going to a high school high school while I was still in middle school for the summer school. And when I went back to middle school, they said, yeah, and they were like, you lucky? Because they said most everybody was in middle school, and they only took me and this other girl out. They're like, how did it feel? You know, they was asking me a thousand questions. And it, it was cool. It was, like, cool. It was a cool experience or whatever. And I think I was like 12. I think I was 12, 11. I was 11 going on 12 when they put me in high school. And it was fun. I ain't gonna lie. I had a lot of friends back there. 
But it's the sad part. Like when it's time to graduate, someone always, someone always die. Literally, someone always die. It's like I was known at that high school, very known. Cause I'm like, yeah. But then this other school that I went to, it was cool, you know, for graduation. My Titan came. I think that was his niece in front of me. I don't know. If she was in front of me or back of me. I forgot how that went, but. That school, they do a whole lot of population, like a lot. Like, they be on the news channel, graduate. It's just crazy. But, like, I was just saying, like, I, if that's what people want to think and people want to say, hey, it's cool. Because at the end of the day, I know where I stand at. And I'm just not going to argue or fuss about it. Just like, people say, oh, I heard this and that. Da -da -da -da. So it's like, if I tell the truth, Cause people don't tell the whole freaking story, right? Or whatever. If I tell the truth, they still ain't gonna believe me. They believe the other person's DB. That's why I don't waste my time like telling the truth or whatever. Cause I feel like it's a waste of my breath of just being real about it and keeping it real. They just gonna believe whatever, whoever, whatever they said. And like the funny part is like if they was there and they saw it, they would tell half. They won't tell the whole thing. Like, tell the whole full story. Just don't tell half. Or just don't tell the part about me. If you're going to tell the part about me, tell the part, part about you, too. To put both two stories together. Just don't tell half. That's one thing I hate. Like, tell the whole freaking story. But, like, when they come question me, it's like, it's whatever now. Like, I, I don't care. I I don't care. Like, I got so much in my plate. Like, I really don't give a fuck. That's how I say I don't got time to be hating or worrying about someone right now. I got a lot to compromise that I've been doing. And right now, like, my compromise since I'm, like, still in this apartment, I'm going to try to get my apartment together. Um, I'm supposed to be getting some, some little furniture up in here. Um, yes, I'm still trying to get my room together. Even though I've been here for a good while, like, you know, stuff is coming into place a little bit. Just like my restroom. I finally got me a restroom stand up in there. I just got to get one more thing in that restroom that I'll be done. I want some more curtains, but at the same time, I got a lot of curtains. Like, you know, everyone... I know I'm jumping for different types of topics, but what I'm trying to say, like, everybody's been just mentoring me for the longest. Like, they just say, oh, she don't need that apartment. I don't even, I know I said that. Like, they say, oh, her apartment this, oh, her apartment that. Oh, she don't need nobody. Just like, when I was with my ex, no, no one really didn't want to see us together. No one. I mean, nobody didn't want us to see us together. Like, everybody was trying to break us up whatever he moved on he still talked to me time to time though but every time like if i bring him up or they ask me a question about him they they get mad or whatever this was like oh he caught this is, like they had like attitudes or whatever but then yet y'all asked me so now it's like i'll say no i might say yes I'm like, i probably won't say nothing or whatever it's like, cause like first minute they're like, oh, one minute when they thought that we broke up, they're like, oh, you miss him, da da da. da. Y'all should get back together. And I'm looking like first y'all didn't want us together, then this and that. But it's not the fact of going on them. It's what we want or whatever. But everyone got that on the pins. But it's like it's so much negativity in my life right now, and I've been thinking positive, and I've been trying to keep positive people in my life. But it's like it's so many negative people who don't freaking know me. That's another thing. Like I got people who know me that I don't know them. Then it's too like they're like, oh, I heard this and that. It don't even be true. It's like the reason why I know because like people be telling me stuff about someone else, but they heard this and that. But like I said, you gotta see for your own stuff. You feel me? You gotta go on your own opinion. You can't go on their opinion. Maybe they been through it and they know how it go or whatever. And you just got to sit there and wait and get a taste of their mess. Or you got, you just got to, when I mean, you just got to sit there and wait to taste, not taste of their mess. I'm not going to stay there. You just got to see how that really is. Put it like that. But at the end of the day, I didn't stop saying at the end of the day. I just broke a goddamn nail. I have not had no sleep lately. Like, lately. I have not been sleepy. That's why I'm going to get a tattoo out. But like, 
I just feel like people who slow, who's like really mental, they don't understand the part slow. Slow? Yeah, they could be slow, but they smart. Ain't gonna lie. I had, ain't gonna lie, like when I was a kid growing up, I grew up around grown people. I wasn't really around kids. So then like, I met one girl, she was very slow, but she stayed in some complex. And she lay in the bed, and I don't, she wasn't all the way paralyzed, but she was smart. She was so smart to go to college and everything, and she actually did go to college, though. That girl was too damn smart. There's some slow people who's very smart, and there's some, there's someone who's very slow who know how to fucking fight. Because I seen it with my own two eyes, and there's someone who's crazy, who's so mental. Mental people is not to be played with. I'm sorry, like they not. You don't know. You don't know what to expect about them. To be honest, though. But hey, and they. That's why I say I'm not tripping. That's how they feel. That's how they feel. They think I'm retarded. Hey, it's what it is. They think I'm slow. Hey, it's what it is. But at the end of the day, I feel like I know how to cook, clean. I know how to build stuff, put stuff together. I pay my own goddamn bills. If I'm that slow, I want to know how to pay bills. <laughs> if I was that slow, I probably would have able to know how to drive. So speaking about driving, I do need to get a car, another car. I've been taking a break for a long ass time. I really need to get a car, a little car. I don't know how many cars. I only had a few cars in my life, not a lot. The, but if I was that slow, I'm gonna know how to drive. If I was that slow, I've been pissing on myself. If I was that slow, I wouldn't be taking no showers. If I was that slow, I wouldn't even know how to wipe my goddamn ass. If I was that slow, I wouldn't even know how to do the dishes. If I was that slow, slow, I wouldn't even know how to do my hair, my makeup. If I was that motherfucker slow, I wouldn't really know how to take the pets out so they could use it. If I was that slow, I wouldn't even really know how to feed them. If I was that slow. If I was so slow, I wouldn't even know how to read. I wouldn't even know how to count. I wouldn't even know how to count money. That's how I said this day. I really don't care what people say. It's what it is. It's just the fact that I try to hurt my feelings. And you know, I give them their props. It's what it is. Sometimes I just brush that shit off. Like, it's what it is. And, hey, sometimes I can't help it, but, hey, I know where I stand at the end of the day. I know how to cook clean. I ain't gonna lie. I think I got a problem with cleaning up too much. I really do. Like, when it's time to clean, my mind will stop and try to clean something else. But, like, I'm just trying to, like, don't do that. Stop and want. It, it gotta be perfect. I have a problem with doing that. Like, when I clean, it just got to be perfect. And then, I ain't going to lie, I do. Like, I'm starting now to have my days when I don't feel like cleaning up. I guess because I be cleaning up every day too much. I just can't stand having a messy apartment. Like, right now, I I want to go vacuum. I really want to vacuum my floor so freaking bad. But I'm trying to wait because I'm going to the store and I gotta put uh, I'm gonna put some stuff on my carpet or whatever. And I think I lost fifty dollars when I fell outside. I really did. I lost fifty dollars. So I blessed someone. And then the crazy part when I was at the store, I, I blessed two people. Put it like that because this little boy he is so sweet. He like I'm getting out. He like excuse me man, do you want? I said I cut him off. I like no, I'm sorry, but I'm like here you go. I gave him some money for that little donation. I don't know if they donate because they look like they play basketball. So I gave him a couple of dollars or whatever. And he just like, oh, thank you. He was excited. But I blessed him with $50. And I think I know who got my 50 though. But, and it's not my little sis. I know it's not her. But I'm just not tripping. It's, well, it's what it is. I'm always blessing people with money anyway. And it's like, I don't know. But I just ready to vacuum. And the only thing I did so far... The only thing I did is I mopped my floor. I think about rearranging my room around. I'm not for sure, but I just came on here and just wanted to tell y'all 
a little what's what's been going on and how mm, how I've been feeling lately but it is crazy to be the world that doesn't really like one person my own she need a man in her life to guide her that's another thing. Then they say, oh, she gonna need a man. Da, 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 da. Like, what about your own self? I mean, for real. Like, it's so much on my plate. Like, even, even if they was over there, like, they they say some bullshit. Like, I keep to myself in my own house. Even though they, they say some shit, it's, it's what it is. Like, I still try to be nice but I don't kick ass that's one thing I don't do I just don't tolerate it and for them to uh I have some um I know what's that call that I can't think of the name I can't even think of the name god damn I'm gonna think of the name when I get off this camera I have so many. I know I got a lot of writers. I'm pretty like that. Because I know that's not what it called. I know over here you get strikes. And you know I'm be keeping to myself. I play my gospel. But I don't have it up that loud no more. And it's crazy part. was pissing me the fuck off. Like every time I come home. I know someone been in my house. Just like today. I walk in this freaking house. And I see some stout sugar. I don't know what the hell it is on my couch. It's white. Salt, sugar, powder, whatever. I don't know what it is. First I thought it was cat. First I thought it was cat litter. It's not even cat litter. I don't even know where it came from because last night I came back home two times. And when I looked, it was nothing on that couch. So today when I came back, it's stuff on the freaking couch. And I know it's not from the pets because the pets ain't going to put that there. They got two hands to walk on. They can't really pick up stuff. The only thing they can pick up is with their mouth any little thing they could pick up but that that stuff is just so tiny it look like dirt but it's white i'm just saying how it look like the size and the shape and everything but it's white it look like sugar powder i don't know what the hell it is that's how i know and last time i came home all my freaking lights was on in the living room and i ain't spending like i just went to a store i went to a couple stores to came back i mean my bill was up i mean they had i don't know who i don't know who came i had there was like two lights on in the living room then they got the kitchen in the dining area and like then the ac was running i know damn for sure when i left my house everything was off and i don't even know then it's like sometimes i be thinking someone got a key to this apartment because like i'm starting to see stuff like when I left a couple weeks ago, and I know for a fact my shop is not on, nothing was on. It was water all over the tub and floor. And then, like, certain stuff was on the table. I was just so, ugh. That's what I said. I got my own freaking problems to worry about. That's what I said. And I just look at it like, you know, it is sometimes, I got a lot, it's it's hard for me to get over stuff but I just don't show it I just look at it it makes me very strong y'all see this I just got bit I came from outside I got bit and ate the hell up right there but yeah it's it's what it is I'm starting from different different subject to different topics or whatever but yeah I just go through a lot and I know everybody go through a lot you know it's, it's what it is. Sometimes I laugh it up, though. I ain't gonna lie. I will laugh it up. Because I, at the end of the day, I know I'm not like that. Like, I'm a good-ass person. Like, everyone says I'm too nice and too sweet and kind. But, hey. And that's what they say. That I'm slow and retarded and mental. And then they say I don't do this and that. And they said they have so much negativities they say about me, but it's it's cool, you know. I'm not tripping. It's it's what it is. And then I think a lot of times that's probably why I slow up from eating. I do get in my little ter- depressing mood, and I do be like, I am a very homebody. I really don't get out much. Like, I barely get out. I'm gonna tell you, I. 
barely do anything. I mean, the house a lot. The only time I get out is when y'all see me post stuff on YouTube. That's the only time I get out. If I haven't really posted nothing on YouTube, I'm like in the house. I barely go anywhere. Barely. I really don't even got friends like that. But it's like I'm always in the freaking house. Like, I try to stay to my stuff because it's just too much drama. And I got time for it. It's, it's bad enough. Oh, uh, stay tuned. I'll be making a uh, a video cooking soon. I don't know what I'll be cooking. I'm gonna be cooking something. But yes, um, I'm just about to end this video. I just want to have a long ass video. Um, I may vlog today. Hope y'all have a good day. Than yesterday. My day was good yesterday, I believe. Oh, shout out to my cousin. It was her half birthday on her 30th. Shout out to that girl. I'm happy for her. Happy beloved birthday, girl. Yes. Um, I had an okay day yesterday, if you could say. It, it turned out bad at the end. But it's what it is, though. But and since everyone's shooting a slugs, I mean, congratulations to them. Pat on their back from shooting a slugs. How they think and how they feel saying negative shit about me. I'm not tripping because that's life. You know, everything is part of life. Everyone's going to say what they want to say half of us for whatever and say negative. You know, that's, that's just life. You know, I just got to get over it, but... At the same time, it be making me bad. Like, when I do have company, like, y'all say this about me and don't even know me, but say shit so they can stop talking to me. You know, that that's why we piss me off. I don't know. I just, like, I don't care. I'm just, like, so ready to move, though. Like, I want to move somewhere that no one don't know. Don't know me. Because the crazy part, like, y'all know me. I don't know them. I mean, like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna tell you. Sometimes I step up, people be looking at me like this. Like, up in my face. And I'm looking like, they like, recently. I'm like, what the hell? Like, you don't know. Like, you all up in face like you know me. You don't know me. My hands are greasy like a mud. But it is crazy. But you know what? Before I end this video, um, because I will move to another topic. Uh, and I'm just not feeling it. I'm, I'm not feeling the way how I'm talking right now. I'm sorry. I'm just too down, but you know, I'm getting over it. It's, it's what it is. But at the end of the day, like, if you just go through the shit where people say negative shit about you, or say stuff about you, or whatever, and don't nag it back because you wasting your time. Yeah, you could fight back if you want to, but you're still wasting your goddamn time. Just let them talk because I just feel like it is life. If you know deep down in your heart where you stand and who you are, you know God know you very well, like you know yourself very well, keep doing you. Because honestly, just don't let them, if they think that you're slow and retarded or they say any type of thing to bring you down and you know you're not like that or you know who you are, be that person who you are. Be yourself. Don't change because of them. Don't try to even prove yourself to them. Because practically you're wasting your time. It is something that you're, you're talented or something you have or God gave you a gift that they don't have. Or maybe... They got a disability and they ain't gonna stay. Or maybe they got some issues or problems that you don't know about that they ain't gonna say. They probably had some same shit too. That's why I don't entertain shit like that at the end of the day. I just let people talk because I don't got time to go back and forth. Yeah, maybe through my childhood I would go back and forth for entertainment. But now. I'm not about to do that. It's like, I don't care. I really don't care. I try to keep positive friends and think positive a lot because the other type of positive friends I do have that I can't see, 
they're like, oh, da 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 this, and they're like, they'll say this and that about me, like, they'll say good stuff. The other one, the, the other one, they, they won't. Just like I, the positive ones I have, I say very good stuff about them, like, even though I keep them in prayer, but I'm going to say this right here. Pray off for my homeboy. It's not funny, but my homeboy went to the hospital because somehow the chair went up his ass or something like that, but... Prayer out for my homeboy. I have not seen my homeboy in a good long ass time, but he, I know he had to get stitch, no staples or something like that. Oh, I feel that too. Ooh, uh, pray for my um, my brother and home. They um, he a truck driver, so they be traveling a lot, and I just want to pray for my friend because she just going through a lot, and. I just hope the best for her and her family. Like, you know, I just stay in prayer with everybody who I try to socialize because everybody else who I talk to, they just look at the farm like, oh, they don't be picking up my car when I check on them. So I don't kiss asses. So I start doing that because they don't check up on me. They don't call me. They're not. So I don't got time for it. But you know what? I pray for everybody in the world who's out here, you know, trying to live a, a healthy life. I pray. My prayers go out to them, even like the homeless people and everybody else. My prayers go out to everybody who's going through stuff, who's struggling, and like who's trying to make it happen, trying to get where they want to go in life, or trying to reach that goal. I just pray for all y'all, you know, blessings go up. And I'm just about to end this video before I end it. Just don't let stuff make you down like well not make you down I'm gonna let you down just keep doing you you know focus on you you know because god gonna bless you you feel me you gonna rise up Ooh. i feel like something just hit my nose you gonna rise up just let people keep talking about you it, it'll get to you a couple times but just don't let it like do do something fun you know out go enjoy doing whatever you feel me I need to be telling my stuff that I got a lot of stuff we have. Like me, I just sit and read the Bible, play gospel. Uh, I do a lot of cleaning. Like I try to keep my mind off a whole lot of stuff. But I'm just going through it all right now. And I know everybody else is too. But you know, my prayers just go out to everybody. And if you have any questions or anything, make sure you just leave a comment down below. Or whatever, or you can email me at email me at x dot l a y l a y two three dot x i do what I cut. But yes, I'm about to take me a little nap. I am hungry. Like I ain't gonna lie, I've been starving, and I don't want to eat. As of an egg, but I take me a nap a little bit, and I gotta start my day. I hope everyone, everyone, have a wonderful, 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 blessed, blessed, marvelous day today or any other day okay thank you guys love y'all bye